a very common question I, I use to hear is, what's your job? And I say, I play the piano. Oh, really? You play the piano? Wow, it's very funny. But your job, what's your job? <laughs> I play the piano. So it's frustrating to explain that even playing the piano should be a job. But it's natural, because if I ask, what is music for? What is music for? Music is for, for fun, for entertainment, for amusement, for relax. Of course, and, but it seems that music enters in our life when the real life stops, when finish. So, from a certain perspective, music is good for nothing, really effective. So it's natural, oh, you play the piano, but what's your job? But here I would like to share with you a different perspective, going beyond music to find something to enjoy a harmonious life. Because mankind has the great gift of music, not for unproductive amusement. Music can close in itself a secret power beyond the sound, where happiness is living. The most ancient civilization knew it very well. For example, Pythagoras, 2,000 years ago and more, said music is not for entertainment but to connect one soul to their divine nature. Wow, the music like a bridge to connect my soul to my inner, my higher nature. And the philosopher Plato said music has not to aim to the fun, but to build harmonious personalities. And in the Middle Age, as you can see in this slide, the main road to gain the freedom for mankind were considered the liberal arts, contained in trivium and quadrivium. And in trivium, you had to master the logic, the grammar, rhetoric, and in the higher part, you had to master arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, and music. And they think music was at the top because music contains all the other ones. For example, the tonal system is like the solar system. A symphony has a perfect geometry. The rhythm is based on number. One, two, three, four, five. No? And the music is a language, so has its own grammar, its rhetoric. Everything is logic in music. So, what have we lost about music? But the good news is nowadays we can regain this secret because science is uh, revealing us. For example, the uh, scientist uh, Vittorio Gallese from the staff of Discoverer of Mirror Neurons said, from a certain point of view, the art is higher than science because often uh, the artistic intuition allows us to understand the main kind of nature more quickly and more deeply than scientific approach. And uh, Daniel Levitin and more neuroscientists from uh, Brahms Institute of Montreal, using neuroimaging, the diagnostic technique, demonstrated that when we listen to music, or we play, or we sing, almost the full brain is activated at the same time, harmoniously and simultaneously. I would like to invite you to sing with me a very famous anthem of your beautiful country. A traditional anthem is la 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 la. Please sing with me. <laughs> la 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 the full brain is activated. The sensory co co cortex, the auditory, of course, but not only. Hippocampus, 
the memory, the first time we listen this beautiful music, the visual, an image connected with this music, the cerebellum with the sense of movement, and the prefrontal, and we are counting, and the emotional part, the amygdala, nucleus accumbens, the limbic system, the sense of belonging, to be part of the same country, the same group, and so on and so on. The full brain is activated uh, simultaneously. So this fact demonstrated that the music has the secret power to create a harmony between the mental, the emotional, the cellular system. And when they are aligned, we are perfectly performing our excellence. But what is the hidden secret lost in time to reach this inner harmony? Music is a fractal. In a fractal, all the parts reproduce the wall because they contain it. So knowing the part, you can know the wall. So music is a product of a human experience. It contains it. So knowing the music, knowing the music, we can know the whole human experience, everything you need, everything we need to express our excellence, to manifest our higher ourself. But how can we find out this uh, secret power within music fractality. I will introduce you four great models showing us how to do. Four great musical geniuses providing us the instruction to go towards harmonious life. The first one is Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, please, uh, can we listen to music number one that is composed by Johann Sebastian Bach and this very special music. If you listen, there is something that is repeated sometimes. Sometimes, for example, when the first part finished, you can listen is this. Ta 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 this rhythm. It's fantastic. Why? This music lasts seven minutes, and in seven minutes you will find only ta ta ta, <laughs> nothing else. It's perfect. <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm. so 400 bar, and in each bar you will find exactly repeated ta ta ta. But there is not a bar equal to another one. It's genial. Because Bach has this ability to go from one idea to infinite solution, to infinite possibilities. So, Bach's music is the expression of unity is fractal. Everything is repeating. Everything is one. The sun comes back every day. Our breath is repeating. Our heart beating is repeating. So, if we don't repeat, we die. So, to stay alive, we have to repeat. So, it's interesting, and Bach says, to express your excellence, find your identity, discover who really you are, find out your ta-ta-ta, and be consistent with it, repeating it every day in your life, going from your one to your infinite. So, repetition is the first law beyond music. So, to be happy, find out your ta-ta-ta, enjoy to repeat it. Simple. But the second musician is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Now is the time for Mozart. If we listen to this music, please, you can uh, go. This is the first time, the first motif, one. It's famous. But now, it changed. Two, it's different, no? Not the same. Two, okay. Three, it's different, and there is there. This is um, a little repeated, but mm, I change five. 
right to die. Six. Seven. Da dee da dee da da. Eight. Dun dun dun. Nine. Repeated a little but changing. Now, 11. 12. It's arrived. 12. 13. Please, please continue. 13. And now, 11. 12. And 13. For one time, I repeated. But 11. 13. And now, 14, 15, 15 different, thank you, 15 different ideas in one minute. So, back seven minutes, only ta-ta-ta. <laughs> and Mozart, one minute, 15 different ideas, and the expertise of Mozart is to create harmony, so it seems perfect. It's fantastic, something that, that is the, the, the full perfection. And uh, Mozart music is the expression of varieties fractal. Everything is changing. Everything is different. After the sun, the moon, after the day, the night. Beside the man, the woman. Our experience is to stay in the middle of this difference, of this duality, and to try to harmonize it. So Mozart says, to express your excellence, be open to change, be available to explore the new, try to practice every day new solution, don't stop to search. So exploration is the second law beyond music. So to be happy, enjoy to explore the new. But there is a third musician, Johannes Brahms. Johannes Brahms composes his music using only one main idea, like Bach, but transforming it ever and ever and ever in a lot of different new ideas, like Mozart. So in his music, we can find both Bach and Mozart together. So Brahms' music is the expression of similarities, fractal. Everything is transforming. You remember Pantera? Everything is similar. Seven billions of people on the planet, nobody the same, yet everybody similar. Our body is transforming itself day by day. So Brahms says, to express, your, to express your excellence, keep continuing to transform yourself. Keep continuing to evolve, moving towards your higher dimension, going beyond. Don't stop to learn. So exploration was the, the second, and the third law is transformation, evolution. So to be happy and joy to transform yourself. The fourth, the last composer is Charlie Parker and the jazz musician in general. The music of Charlie Parker is not composed, it's fully improvised. Right now and right here, created every moment in a different way. He said, I like unexpected idea that arrive without a plan. Just musicians go on the stage without knowing what they will play. And they like it. I like in, they like incertitude. They know. It's a fantastic mindset. So Charlie Parker is the expression of time, space, fractal. Everything is only right now and right here. So everything is perfect as it is. So, uh, Charlie Parker says, uh, to express your excellence, be grateful for this moment, because it's the only possibility you have. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow we don't know. We have only this present, so it's a gift, you remember. So, gratitude is the fourth law beyond music. So, to be happy, be grateful for this present moment. So, at the end, the four fractals, unity, variety, similarity, and uh, time space, and their law, repetition, exploration, evolution, and gratitude, draw down the main road to go towards 
uh, harmonious life. And uh, at the end, joining the four fractals, we can awake our genius, the genius of music, the sound genius, we should say. In ancient cultures, the genius was a good spirit, a guardian angel generated genius, generated with us to drive our action and to protect our well-being. Music is a guardian angel to push us to go beyond because sound genius fractal contains the wall, the wall attitude and behaviors we need to express our excellence. So, resuming, what is the hidden secret in the music fractality? One more time is science saying us. Albert Einstein says, God created the harmony of the world and Mozart put it in music. Wow, so going beyond the music of Mozart, we will find the harmony of the, of the world. So my harmony too, your harmony too. And uh, going uh, into music deeper levels, going beyond the sensory appearance of its beautiful sounds, we can find the main laws to go towards harmonious life. First, find out your ta ta ta, your identity, and repeat it. Be consistent with it, repeating in your life back. Second, be open to explore the new, like Mozart. Third, continue to evolve yourself and to transform Brahms. And uh, be grateful for this moment, like uh, Charlie Parker. So at the end, what is my job? It's to play the piano, of course. And uh, I play the organ, I compose music, I conduct orchestra. Of course, it's my job to create fun for you. But as a musician, I feel also the responsibility to share with people the possibility to go beyond, to express their excellence in every field, personal and professional, with the help of art and music. Remembering always, as said Fyodor Dostoevsky, the beauty will save the world. The beauty will save us, nothing else. So make sure to look for the beauty in your life. And you will find beyond beauty, beyond uh, music, you will find your inner harmony right now and right here waiting for you. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>